Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. First of all, wish you a happy Krishnashtami to all the subscribers, viewers of my YouTube channel throughout India and throughout world. Today we have to discuss about one of the most important C program that can be commonly asked in campus interviews and NPTEL Swayam examinations. That is C program to find sum of first and last digit of a given number. Suppose I am taking a given number is 4567 that is 4567. In that number what is the first digit of a number and what is the last digit of a number that can be identified. The first digit of a given number is 4. The last digit of a given number is 7. Once we are getting the first digit and the last digit of a given number, we have to add them. That is 4 plus 7. So, that is equal to 11. Now, the logic is how to find out the last digit of a, a given number. So, the last digit of a given number can be obtained by using modulus operator. By using that modulus operator, we have to find out the last digit of a given number. So, for that one, I am 4567 modulus operator 10. Okay. Here, the modulus operator always returns the remainder value. For 4567 can be divided with 10. Whatever the remainder we are getting, that remainder value can be assigned to the last digit. Okay. So, what is the remainder we are getting? 7. 7 is assigned to the last digit. Once we are getting the last digit, then how to find out the first digit of a given number? The first digit of a given number can be obtained by dividing the given number with 10 until the n value is greater than or equal to 10. Okay. Once we are getting n value is greater than or equal to 10, then n value can be assigned to the first digit. So, for that one, we have to use this logic. While n greater than or equal to 10, n is equal to n by 10. So, first digit is equal to n. Okay. So, this is the uh, three lines of code to find out the first digit of a given number. So, see this one. Here, while n greater than or equal to 10, that means 4567 is greater than or equal to 10. So, that is true. If this condition is true, then the control goes to the body of the uh, while loop. Then, execute the statement within the body of the while loop n is equal to n by 10. So, that is 4567 divided by 10. So, what is the value we are getting? So, that is 456 we are getting. Once we are getting the new n value that is 456, again we have to check this condition. Now, the new n value is 456 greater than or equal to 10. So, condition true. If this condition is true, the control goes to the body of the 
for loop body of the while loop so then execute the statement within the body of the while loop so here 456 is divided with 10 what is the value we are getting that is 45 we are getting again we have to check the condition at the while loop the new n value now it is 45 okay so now 45 greater than or equal to 10 so condition true if this condition is true the control goes to the body of the while loop and execute the statement within the body of the while loop 40 n is equal to n by 10 n value now 45 45 by 10 so we are getting only 4 the new n value is 4 again control goes to the uh, while loop check the condition so that is n greater than or equal to 10 so now n value is 4 4 greater than or equal to 10 so that is condition false if this condition is false the control goes to the next statement after the while loop so here after the while loop so what is the new n value n value is 4 okay so that n value 4 can be assigned to the can be assigned to the first digit okay so here already first digit 4 and the last digit 7 once we are getting the first digit and the last digit we have to find out the sum sum is equal to so last digit is a 7 and the first digit is a 4 that is equal to 11 we are getting okay so r4 plus 7 there is no problem at all 7 is equal to 11 so this is the simple program to find out the sum of first and last digit of a, a given number whatever the new n value we are getting that new n value is checked the condition at the while loop okay if this condition is true again the statement within the while loop is executed okay so this is this step is repeated until the condition is false once the condition is false the control goes to the next statement after the while loop whatever the new n value we are getting that new n value can be assigned to the first digit so already last digit we are getting now we are getting first digit once we are getting the first and last digit we have to add them okay so this is the program now we have to write the program to check whether the logic is correct or correct or not now hash include stdio.h standard input output header file hash include conio.h console input output header file void main every c program execution starts with the main function main function does not return anything so that we have to write void data type before the main function here we have to declare n value and initially some value is equal to 0 and first digit last digit these are the uh, variables that variables can be declared as integer variables next one clr ser this is a clear screen function it clears the output screen in some compilers does not support the uh, clr ser function okay at that time we have to leave that statement next one printf enter the given number
that given number can be read from the keyboard by using scanf function. So both printf and scanf function is available in the header file called hash include stdio.h so that we have to add that header file to our program. Next one. Once we are reading the number from the keyboard, that value is stored in variable n. Next, we have to find out the last digit. The last digit of a given number can be obtained by dividing the n value with the 10, whatever the remainder value we are getting, that remainder value can be assigned to the last digit. For that purpose, we have to use modulus operator. So, n modulus operator 10, whatever the result we are getting, that result can be assigned to the last digit. Next, while n greater than or equal to 10, n is equal to n by 10. This loop is continued until n value greater than or equal to 10 we are getting. So now first digit is equal to n. Okay. Once we are getting n value is greater than or equal to 10, the condition is failed at while loop, whatever the n value at that time, that n value can be assigned to the first digit. That is already discussed in the logic part. Now, once we are getting the first and the last digit, we have to find out the sum of first digit and last digit. So, sum is equal to first digit plus last digit. Now, we have to print up, print the sum value. Print f sum of first and last digit of a given number number is percentage d double quotes n comma sum value. Next, get ch. Next, close the main function. So, this is the program. Now, we have to save this program. Once we are saving the program, then we have to compile the program by using a command called alt plus f9. So, we are getting 0 errors and 0 warnings. Press enter. Now, we have to run this program by using a command called control plus F9. Now, enter the given number. So, I am giving 4567. In that number, first digit is 4 and last digit is 7. Sum of first and last digit is equal to 4 plus 7 that is equal to 11. So, see this one we are getting 11. Okay. Next, again we have to run the program. Enter the given number. The given number is 1234. In that one, the first digit is 1 and the last digit is 4. Sum of first and last digit is 1 plus 4 that is equal to 5. Again, we have to run this program. Enter the given number. Now, I am giving 6345. The first digit is a 6. 
and last digit is 5, sum of this first and last digit is equal to 11. Okay, so this is the uh, simple program. I hope all of you understanding this uh, program. If you really understanding this program, please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. If you really understanding this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel Divela Srinivasarao. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will try to clarify your doubts. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel Divela Srinivasarao. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. Once again, wish you a happy Krishna Stami to all the viewers, subscribers and supporters of my YouTube channel, Divela Srinivasarao.